Polynomial long division. Love it. Okay. I know some of you guys are like, can we just factor and reduce? Yeah, um, if your polynomial is factorable and they share a common factor, but that's not always going to happen. So you're going to need a more robust method. Yeah, um, we're going to follow the division algorithm. Yeah, if you want to check it out, check out the division algorithm video. Okay, long division. And we're going to perform it on polynomials. Okay, so then I'm up here and I'm taking a look at this. It's a trinomial on a binomial, similar to my second example, but a little different. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to go, oh, school, who's in the house? X squared minus 7X plus 12 in the house. And then out the house, you're going to have X minus 5. Okay. This is going to be very rhythmic, maybe even hypnotic. Yeah, what I want to do is I want to ask myself, what do I multiply x by to get x squared? Yeah, I'm going to need to multiply it by x. And where am I going to put it? I'm going to put it in the x column. So I'm going to put it right there. And then I'm going to take this one times that one and put it there, x squared. This one times that one and put it there, minus 5x. And then I change the signs. I like to circle it, let me know I've changed it, and add down. x squared minus x squared makes no x squared. The desired effect. X, or 7x minus 5x is 2x, and then that's going to be minus. And then I'm going to bring on down that 12. Yeah. Okay. What am I going to need to multiply x by to get a minus 2x? A minus 2. Yeah. Okay, so then that's a constant, so it goes in the constant category. Minus 2. Oh, so then I take this one times that one and put it there. Minus 2x. This one times that one and put it there. Plus 10. Very nice. And then I change the signs. I like to circle it. Let's me know I've changed it. And add down. Oy. Is that 2, the difference of mine 12 and 10? Yes. So what am I going to do with that? Am I going to put a big fat R2? No way, man. I'm going to put remainder over divisor. Okay. Yeah. So then this is going to be plus 2 over x minus 5? Yeah. Pretty lame hammer. But anyway, we nailed it. I want to take a look at my next example. Oh boy. This one, at first glance, appears to be just like the other one. And like the other one, we are going to go through our division algorithm to find our quotient. Yeah. But this time, when we go old school, something happens. Who's in the house? Yeah. 2x to the third plus 0x squared. Whoa, whoa, wait, what are you talking about? In our last example, accounting was very important. Everything had to have a column. Here we have to include the 0x squared in order for x squared to have a column. So I'm going to keep on keeping on. Plus 6x minus 4. Sure, it'll be a little bit more clear and apparent as we keep on. Um, and then out the house, I have x plus 4. Sure. So I go through this division algorithm, and I ask myself, what do I multiply x by to get 2x to the third? I think I multiply it by 2. Uh-huh. And x squared. Yes. Because if I have the same base and I'm multiplying, I need to add their exponents. So I'm like, what do I add to 1 to get 3? 2. Yeah, so then I need to put it in the x squared category. 2x squared. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, that's why we had to include the 0, so that we had a place to put our x squareds. Then I take this one times that one, put it there. 2x to the third. 
This one times that one, put it there. Plus 8x squared. I'm going to change the signs. I like to circle it. Let's me know I've changed it. And add down. 2x to the third minus 2x to the third makes no x to the third. The desired effect. So then, 0 minus 8. Great. That's minus 8x's squared. And I'm going to just bring on down everything. Plus 6x. Minus 4. Sure. Okay. Let's make sure you can see that. 6. Yes. Uh -huh. Now I'm going to proceed on through my division algorithm. What do I multiply x by to get a minus 8x squared? I think I need to multiply by a minus 8. Uh-huh. And what do I add to 1 to get 2? A 1. So I need to multiply by a minus 8x? Yeah. And that goes right here. In the x column. Okay. Then I take this one times that one and put it there. That's a minus 8x squared. Then I take this one times that one and put it there. That's a, oh wait, minus 32x? Is that right? Yeah! And then I change the signs. I like to circle it. Let's me know I've changed it. And add down. Minus 8x squared plus 8x squared makes no x squared. Uh huh. Okay. Oh wait, 32 and, wow, this is gonna be big. Mm, 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 yeah, okay, uh, 38, special, x, minus 4, sure, I brought that minus 4 down, and then I need to ask myself, what do I gonna need to multiply x by to get 38, yeah, 38, great, and I'm gonna put that right above the c constant, constant category, plus 38, Great. Then I take this one times that one, put it there. 38x. This one times that one, put it there. Oh, big. What's 38? Okay. 4 times 8. Mm, mm, 3 times 8. 4. 32. Okay, 2. Carry a 3. Okay, carried that 3. 4 times 3 is 12. That's 15. Shoot. Is that right? No way. Here, let me do it right here. Big. That still doesn't seem right. 40 times 4 is, yeah, I guess it is. All right, cool. And that's a, a positive one. And then I change the sign. I like to circle it. Let's me know if changed it. And the difference is 148. Great. Oh, wait, that's a minus and that's a minus. That's why I circled it, right? It let me know I changed it. Yeah, so it's not a 48, it's a 156. Yes, and that's your remainder. Okay, so then I write remainder 156 over divisor x plus four. And then what? A sledgehammer. Like the one I broke at my dad's house. Yeah. Smashing.